Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to SSBC Premises, where we welcome you to this live edition of Emmanuel Kembe Show. My name is Tech Stephen Ugood, and uh, we are bringing to you this program live. And I would like to introduce our guest for today, starting by our chief guest of this event, who is the special representative of the Secretary General to United Nations, David Shera. Uh, also, the managing director of South Sudan Broadcasting Corporation, Jemis Magok Chelim. Our directors of SSBC, senior uh, journalists and visiting guests from different institutions, NGOs, and as well as the UNIMIS and UN fraternity who decided to join us here today for this live event here at SSBC premises. Just to take you briefly, this is an event that is divided into two, which will start here at uh, this arena, where Emmanuel Kembe, the man of the hour, will be uh, performing for us three of his best songs before he proceeds to the studio. But while we are here, Shortly, we will also hear from the man himself, Emmanuel Kembe, to tell us why we are gathered here and give us a sneak preview of what is lined up before he starts performing. And also, later on, uh, before he starts his performances, we are expecting his uh, choral team to entertain us uh, with some of their performances as well. So I would like, once again, to welcome you all to this live telecast of SSBC in a program dubbed as Emmanuel Kembe Show. So welcome all. Now, without further ado, I would like to welcome uh, Emmanuel Kembe before his choral team comes to tell us uh, briefly about the program of today and why we are gathered here. Just to tell us something brief, and then we proceed to the choral team to entertain us with their performances. So let's welcome Emmanuel Kembe together with a hand clap. Welcome. Uh, we just need you to briefly uh, tell us about uh, today's event before we can proceed to the performance. South Sudan, we are. South Sudan, we are. Uh, SRSG, uh, Mr. David Shera, all uh, di distinguished guests. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today, uh, I'm very happy and I would like to thank Anmis for recognizing my music contribution uh, to the building of this nation. Uh, today I'm going to introduce to you my uh, master class for peace. We're going to have uh, Sense United Choral International known as SUSI. It's one of the KMI troops and uh, we're going to have a KMI band, the dancers, and I hope you'll enjoy the day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, uh, you've just heard from uh, Emmanuel Kembe himself about the program that brought us all here from different backgrounds to meet here at the premises of South Sudan Broadcasting Corporation, your national broadcaster and public broadcaster. Welcome again to SSBC. Uh, just to remind you, this is a live coverage coming to you here and is uh, broadcasted on SSBC. Uh, once again, as I mentioned earlier, our guest, we have uh, the UN, uh, the head of Animation in South Sudan, David Shera. Uh, just to remind you, and uh, he's accompanied here to this event by uh, the managing director of SSBC, James Magok, and uh, senior directors of uh, SSBC, as well as the guests. And also among us, we have uh, beautiful students from Komboni uh, Secondary Schools who are going to be here to witness this great performance of Emmanuel Kembe. So now, without further ado, I would like uh, to introduce the choral team of Emmanuel Kembe to come here on the stage and uh, thrill us with their performance that they have prepared for today. Uh, let's uh, join them in a hand clap as they come uh, to the stage to give them a little bit of morale. Yes, this is the team, uh, the choral team of uh, Emmanuel Kembe, and uh, now they are taking over the stage to perform their program for this morning.
Once again, uh, before the choral team can start uh, their performance, uh, I would like to once again uh, welcome Emmanuel Kembe to tell us something brief about this team and what they are going to perform to you. Uh, Emmanuel Kembe, one, welcome once again. Thank you. Uh, this is Sen United Choral. We're going to give you a song titled South Sudan is Born. The poem for this song is written by Honorable Madam Rebecca Joshua, and uh, I made the music. And uh, that's a song that led to the birth of uh, Sense United Choral. Thank you. Yeah. 
Let's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank the choral team with a warm handshake for their performance. Thank you very much. Uh, moving on with our program, uh, that was just one of Emmanuel Kembe's many achievements. That was the choral team. And uh, also we have in the background, like you can see, there is a band also for Emmanuel Kembe. There are the dancers who will be joining him later. And most importantly, there are students that Emmanuel Kembe uh, have taught how to do music so that uh, later on in life they can as well uh, join him and uh, keep the legacy moving on. Uh, just to remind you about why this program is made is because Emmanuel Kembe, being a legendary musician in South Sudan that sang a lot about unity and uh, prosperity as well as the history and the struggle of the people of South Sudan, it is as a result that uh, his uh, effort is being recognized in this uh, gathering by conducting this uh, event to commemorate his uh, lifestyle of doing music and achievement that he has done uh, so far. Moving on uh, with our program, uh, I would like to uh, now introduce uh, Emmanuel Kembe. He will be coming here to perform a number of his songs that are lined up uh, for today. This event uh, is ranging from uh, Horea Ja to uh, Nabni Bellet, so many songs as well. So let's uh, get ready for Emmanuel Kembe as he comes uh, to set the stage for what we all came here for. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together to welcome Emmanuel Kembe with his first performance of this hour.
Tana, uh, I released it in 2014, and it was commissioned by JICA, Japan International Cooperation Agency, to support their support for peace and National Unity Day. So, Bel Musika, Wariada, Wahdatana, Bukun Gowi. Uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna give you the latest song called the Stand Up for Someone's Right Today. Uh, it's a song that was requested by Human Rights Commission. So it's in Juba Arabic. Yeah. Stand Up for Someone's Right Today. <laughs> Give you another song. The next song.
Oriaja. When is the best time to perform this song if it is not now? Do we all know that South Sudan has now signed a peace agreement that this is the season of peace, so there is no any other better time to sing this song than now? So I want to thank you all once again and uh, thank Emmanuel Kembe for a great performance. Let's give him a round of applause for his great performance for this. Yes, as uh, we come uh, closer to the end of segment one of uh, today's program, I would like to remind you that we will be followed by another segment which is going to be conducted in the studio by my colleague uh, Simon Bingo, who would be having a one-on-one -on -one interview with Emmanuel Kembe to take us through his life and uh, career, how he started making music, and the meaning of each and every song that he performed. So shortly we will be heading to the studio. And for those who joined us now, I would like to remind you that this has been a live uh, television uh, broadcast of uh, the Emmanuel Kembe Show, a program that has been sponsored by United Nations Mission in South Sudan, your partner for peace. And uh, our guest for this hour has been the uh, UN uh, Unimis head in South Sudan, uh, David Shera. Uh, joined by the managing director of SSBC and uh, senior head of different departments at SSBC as well as our guests who decided to join us. My name is Tech Stephen Ugood and on behalf of everybody who came out here I would like now to request uh, the uh, uh, guest of honor David Shera and his team who would be joining Manuel Kembe in the studio shortly to set the stage and uh, leave for the studio and I would urge all of you also to tune in as the program continues on our screens as this live broadcast continues. So I would like to thank you all for coming here to this great event of the Emmanuel Kembe Show. Thank you very much. The next segment of the program continues. Thank you. Uh, so music has been a, a source of uh, hope, talent and inspiration within my family. Uh, I realized that I have something to, to give to my people which is uh, music and I started uh, writing songs against social injustice and slavery in Sudan. Uh, I used to tour the, the settlement camp with my classic with my classic guitar for almost uh, two years. In 1991 I made a song called Shen Shen in Juba Arabic means ugly. Uh, it tells about the ugliness of the atrocities that has been taking place in South Sudan. Uh, later on, the song became popular in 94, uh, and uh, it was uh, interpreted by the Sudan security as inciting Southerners for war. And uh, I was arrested for 29 days, and the band was banned. Uh, on January 95, I fled to Ethiopia. My approach has centered on three pillars, love, hope, and faith. And uh, I was not afraid of anything when I, when, when I started writing, when I started making uh, music or songs that uh, spoke about the, the, the truth of the, marginal, of the suffering of the marginalized people of the Sudan at the time. It really gave me a courage that I must continue to write songs with hope that one day we will have our own country and we live in peace. Uh, one of the major milestones, I say, arrest in Khartoum for singing one of my popular protest songs, Shen Shen, because uh, it eventually led to, be, to being resettled in USA where I had a chance and support to work on my music. Okay, it's like you're, you're asking a man to call all his children and then to, 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 to select <laughs> which one of them are that resemble you the most. Yeah. Uh, I can, uh, I can, I can, uh, I would say uh, Shen Shen, celebrate and uh, Nabni Bela together. Okay. I believe music is a talent from God and uh, it can be utilized constructively because it can be a tool, a vehicle, or a voice for fostering change and uh, development in terms of culture, economics, political, and social progress. 
Yeah, it is a great honor for me to share the stage of the, with, the, with the ONWIS SRSG. Uh, I'm always excited for the opportunity to perform live. And uh, th this one will be more special because it will be live on SSBC. Uh, there's a song that I wrote for, uh, for Human Rights Commission called uh, the Stand Up for Someone's Rights Today. The lyric is in Juba Arabic. Uh, it was requested by Mr. Eugene Nindorera, uh, the, the director of Human Rights Division and representative of the High Commission for Human Rights. So the song is, uh, is ready and uh, inshallah it will be released soon.
Yes, what a special program for Emmanuel Kembe show. I hope you guys have really in, enjoyed the, the wonderful track Emmanuel Kembe performed outside there. But this is also another segment of, of Emmanuel, uh, Emmanuel Kembe international show. By the way, this is a very, 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 you know, nobody, I think nobody in South Sudan doesn't like Emmanuel Kembe. The songs are very nice, the songs are entertaining and also educative. But it is always to say thank you when somebody is still alive. It is not that after somebody is gone, you start saying, oh, thank you, he was a great legend, he was not. But this is the right time to tell him thank you when he's alive so that he knows that people actually appreciate him. When you tell him face to face that Shukran Yahoo, you are very great, you're a legend and all that. But anyway, Emmanuel Kemme now is actually joining us in the studio here, actually to have the master class with, uh, with some students. So let us uh, join that, that segment. And when we will be back, Emmanuel Kemme will join me in the studio here and you'll hear much more about him. We shall be back after this. Yeah, now, now thank you guys so much. Now let us go back to that segment of, of, of Manuel Kembe actually in the master class. And uh, it is always good to have kind of, you know, like a free breathing space. So anyway, let us uh, cross over to that side of Emmanuel, Emmanuel Kembe with the master class and let us get something from your students. And Emmanuel Kembe, you're welcome. You can go on. Yeah, I would like to introduce uh, the students. Oh. 2018. Here is uh, Ustaz uh, Peter Joseph Wako. He spent more of the time with the students, more than, than myself. Peter uh, Wako is one of my students that I trained him to play guitar the, in the early 90s. So now he became a teacher for those students. And then uh, I have Shanjwak, Richard, Nyamlel, Danto. So I don't know machine, Nabda, Behajat, Alina, Badena, Bo, Awal, Hajafil. Feel, feel, feel courses done. Nabda, the Do major, La minor, Re minor, and Sol seven. Nabda saw one, two, three, four. I'm going to leave with uh, Peter Tindo uh, to play some of the music 
that they rehearsed together. So, Richard, uh, the guys, are you ready? Shagalulena, why it mean Afghani bit a tourist that you know Sudan, Allah, Nina Alam Nakom, both the center. Ready? This is one of uh, our folk music of South Sudan. So in our center, we, we, we don't only play, uh, teach them uh, contemporary music, but okay, also okay. traditional. So, why don't you join me here so that we can talk? You can join me this way now. <laughs> join me here so that we can talk. Man. <laughs> yeah, good. I think this is more closer now. Eh? Because uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you okay? I feel good. Yeah, I'm okay. All right, good. <coughs> yeah, now, uh, as I've just seen you actually teaching, you know, teaching, having the master class there, and it's really very, 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 very nice, and I wish I could also be one of your students. Oh. What are the requirements, first of all? Do you have any requirement that I should join the class? I just come and register, we, teach, we, we train you first. Free? Well, uh, yeah. All for free. I, uh, shukra, I think I will be one of your students. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll be one of your students. Yeah, tell us really, because I've seen you actually having, having the master class. Maybe you can tell us really why is it important for at this moment for you to have like, like for you to do this actually why is it important? Well, actually, we are planning to establish uh, music uh, acad the, we, we are planning to establish academy for music and art. Uh, it is one of the project of the mission of Hope International. Mission of Hope International was founded by KMI as a private voluntary organization that uh, shall work in the field of uh, music and art education, mm -hmm. including dance, drama, theater, sound technique, and also help uh, support primary health care to benefit artists and their families as well as uh, South Sudan as a whole. The purpose of uh, MHI is mainly what is MHI? You know, mission, because they are <laughs> mission, mission of Hope International. Oh, okay, very good. <laughs> uh, mission okay. of Hope oh, International. Okay, good. So the purpose of uh, Mission of Hope International is mainly charitable, educational, scientific, and not for profit. Mm -hmm. uh, our goal is to build centers for cultural exchange with academies of music and provide training programs for talented South Sudanese the musicians and artists. Um, we are planning to establish the Center for Cultural Exchange. The Center for Cultural Exchange is uh, to teach uh, the, the history and cultures of the South Sudan through music, drama, and traditional dance, as well as facilitating cultural exchange with the uh, national, regional, and uh, international artists who serve as visiting teachers to the students. Okay, now as uh, as we can, uh, I can also remember uh, in uh, in twenty, I mean in two thousand and six, you guys launched uh, uh, Emmanuel Kembe International Music. That was the project. That was, by the way, by that time I was in senior three. 
I was wow. very young at that time. You so tell young? us, how, how has Lisa Sokere <laughs> managed? <laughs> now tell us uh, something about that, uh, uh, about that project. Yeah, uh, Cambia Music International, KMI, uh, was founded in 2006. Uh, KMI is a music and film production uh, based production company based in Juba and is currently working on the process of uh, developing uh, a national industry and global market for South Sudanese music cultures. The mission of KMI is to celebrate the rich and diverse cultures of the South Sudan while using music to function as a medium for teaching South Sudanese history, mm -hmm. healing the wounds of war, regaining the dignity of our people, and transforming lives by creating a gateway out of the conditions of poverty. Our vision is to, to support, uh, our vision is to become a conduit for investments yep. in the reconstruction of a robust and dynamic music and entertainment industry. Uh, the goal of KMI is to support nation building with music that inspires, motivates, and teaches the history and cultures of the country. Now you have brought the issue of, of history now. Let us talk about now in your early, I mean the late uh, 80s now, you know, when, the, <laughs> when you were in Khartoum. I remember by that time most of South Sudanese were displaced uh, due to widespread hunger and, uh, and it happened that you also moved to the, uh, to the huge settlement camps that, that was uh, out, out of Khartoum. And this is where you started to write music. That was the late 80s, okay? So, and then this is where you started to sing songs especially about injustices in South Sudan. So why was it important for you to sing there by that time in those settlement camps now, like out of Khartoum by that time? Uh, it, it was a natural call. I remember when I completed my high school in Adbara, uh, and then I, I moved to Khartoum, uh, there was a widespread displac displacement and hunger in South Sudan. And many Southerners fled to the north and they were living in a huge center, settlement camps around Khartoum. And I can describe the situation in, in the settlement camps as worse than Soweto during apartheid. And uh, I realized that I have something to give to my people, which is music. Uh, and I started writing songs uh, against social injustice and slavery in Sudan. And I used to tour the settle, settlement camps with my, uh, with my classic guitar to give songs of hope. I uh, did that for almost two years. And later on in 1990, my colleagues and I uh, founded a music band called Luanga Muziga. Yep. Luanga Muziga was named in, uh, in, uh, in memory and honor of St. Charles Luanga, uh, one of the Ugandan martyrs who was burned in uh, Mugongo Hill in Uganda. Yep. And the purpose of Luanga Muzika was to entertain the humanity. Uh, we used to tour the settlement camps until Luanga Muzika became popular in 1992 uh -huh. and we were nominated to, uh, to perform at uh, uh, the Khartoum 4th International Festival of Music. Uh, that's, that w it was a big music festival in Sudan at that time. And uh, it was a great privilege for us as a new group coming up in our life. And then we, we perform in Khartoum uh, at an International Festival of Music three years consecutive, 92, yep. 93, 94. Uh, uh, that's and then, how we there. And then something happened. You got arrested. Tell us something about that. <laughs> well, uh, in 91, 1991, uh, I made a song called Shen Shen. Mm -hmm. Shen in Juba Arabic means ugly, ugly. Mm -hmm. uh, it tells about the the ugliness of the atrocities that has been taken place in South Sudan. Uh, the song became popular in 94, and uh, it was uh, interpreted by the Sudan security as inciting Southerners for war. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was arrested for 29 days. The band was banned. And on January 95, I fled to Ethiopia with the aim to join the movement. Mm -hmm. And when I reached Addis Ababa, uh, the, the, coordination of, the coordination office of the SPLM was not open there. Yeah. And uh, I applied for asylum, and I was granted asylum as a self-sufficient refugee mm -hmm. because uh, I got a job in Addis <laughs> at that time. <laughs> so I was uh, 
singing five times a week in nightclubs. Hmm. And then I uh, met some Ethiopian friends, mm -hmm. uh, musicians. They really showed me that uh, Ethiopia was my second home. Uh, and then in 96, uh, the SPLM office was uh, resumed, its uh, activities in Addis Ababa. Yep. And I had the privilege to meet uh, uh, Comrade Ambassador Rob Deng and the uh, SPLA commanders who were visiting Addis Ababa at the time. Mm -hmm. And in 98, uh, I was given a mission to go to the liberated area in southern Blue Nile uh, for political orientation and also to give moral performances to the SPLA soldiers in yeah. the front line. Uh, so when my mission was uh, accomplished, then I was brought back to, to, to the refugee camp mm -hmm. in uh, Ethiopia to finalize the process for my resettlement. Yeah. Resettlement for my wife and I to be relocated to the United States. And uh, we were sponsored by Lutheran Family Service and uh, Christian, I mean Gateway Christian Fellowship. Yep. And there's a community church in Raleigh, North Carolina. So when was the last time you went to Kokorzum? After you were, you were you were arrested, after you were arrested, when was the first time you went back? How was it? How was the feeling? I was uh, in, two, in, 2000, in 2007. Uh -huh. Ah, that uh, was recent. 2007, that was uh, 13 years. Uh, Later. The, the 13 years in exile. <laughs> so I, I, I was invited to, it was uh, on July, July 30th, 2007. Yep. Uh, I performed at the Khartoum, uh, Khartoum Stadium for the second commemoration ceremony. Dr. John Garang de Mabio. Okay, now let us talk about uh, you have so far com composed over 300 songs, yeah? And uh, <laughs> 300 criteria, sorry. Yeah. And then uh, uh, loosely, you are, you are like, you are, you are, it is based on reggae, Afro pop, and, uh, and you, you know, fox and uh, circular music. Now, so far, 72 has been produced, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, what is the common de denominator? Or any, any of those songs having uh, characters about the really Emmanuel Kempe? <laughs> uh, I believe that all my songs uh, they represent the true, the true me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh -huh. I know you want me to, to tell. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> yeah, I'm still it because I want to get something. You know, because, okay, uh, I can say, uh, uh, Shen Shen, mm -hmm. celebrate, and uh, Nabni Bella together. Mm -hmm. That is actually something that I wanted to because uh, I understand that Shen Shen celebrate Nabni Bella together. Uh, these are the most the most songs that uh, that that I think you uh, you love a lot and tell us really why because these three songs I know Shen Shen you tell us you got arrested for it because people thought it was exciting tell us something celebrate and a bit bit now something more about it yeah about Shen Shen uh, my breakthrough in music uh, was uh, with the Shen Shen album mm -hmm. uh, in 2000 in the US and uh, I believe the message in Shen Shen is still continues that uh, still the song gives hope that one day constant peace, the South Sudan will have constant peace. Mm -hmm. uh, celebrate, uh, this song represents the joy and happiness that we share in our diverse cultures as South Sudanese. Mm -hmm. uh, despite the political and military struggle within the country, mm -hmm. uh, celebrate is non-political but purely cultural song yep. that continues to find a place where our people gather to celebrate a wedding Mm -hmm. graduation mm -hmm. or business success. I met Nabni Bella together in 2015 uh, to start the conversation of a national development as a task of everyone. Mm -hmm. My white zone. My white zone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now we are, we are actually uh, a special guest appearance. That is by David Shira, wow. the UN representative in South Sudan. So uh, you guys are going to perform together. I really wow. love to to hear something. So let us cross over. You can cross over that side of the studio. Right. <laughs> hey. right.
Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, so you guys, uh, you have seen how wonderful is that. Oh my God, I, I, I almost went to sleep. The song is so nice. It's just taking me off, you know. That is so nice. So anyway, now they are actually joining me here in the studio to hear much more what they are actually been doing. We shall be back after this.
As you guys are welcome back from that lovely entertainment of Mr. David and actually Emmanuel Kembe. Now, we are actually joined live here in the studio with both of you guys. So you guys are actually welcome. Thank welcome you very much. Very great, great, great to be here. Yeah, great yeah. to be here too. Thank you Thank so you. much. Now, uh, Kembe, honestly, Emmanuel, can you tell us, you know, wh what was it like to perform a song with, the, with, the, with the <laughs> David? Honestly, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't be too honest. Okay, no, no, don't be too, don't be don't too be, honest. Don't be too honest. <laughs> <laughs> the head of the mission in South Sudan, you know, the head of the UN in South Sudan. How does oh. it feel? How does it, you know? Uh, I think it is a great honor for me to share the stage with the uh, oldest SRSG, uh -huh. and uh, I'm always excited for the opportunity to perform live. But this one is more special because with. Uh, with Mr. Sherrod mm -hmm. and us on SSBC. I uh, really appreciate, uh, uh, really appreciate the time that he spent on my music, despite his uh, busy schedule. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he recognized one of my songs and uh, managed to put time to rehearse and perform with me. <laughs> 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 so David, thank you so much once again for no, the performance you actually had with uh, with with, with Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. So tell us, why did you accept actually to, to perform with uh, with Emmanuel Kembe? I know you must be a very busy man. You know? Well, well, no, I, but I, I li really like his music, and I was down in Ye a, a few months ago, actually last year, and um, we had this big uh, sort of celebration because we were we were opening a base down there, and suddenly I. I'd heard of Emmanuel Kembe, but not really, n and all suddenly he appeared. Uh -huh. And uh, the whole place got up and uh, was, was yeah. dancing, and uh, it was fantastic. Uh, and then I've, I've seen you perform one other time as well, so I've, I've become a bit of a fan. Mm -hmm. So the opportunity of being able to sit down with somebody like Emmanuel Kembe and play some music, I mean, man, that's a big, big thrill for me. Big. Yeah, big, big, big privilege. I'll be remembering this for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that you and Emmanuel Kembe had the rehearsals in the office. Uh, yeah, back in your uh, in your office. Yeah. So, how was the chemistry between two of you guys? You know, like you guys entering, <laughs> yeah. entering the office, and you know, you're wondering, hey, this is the guy, huh? This is a big man. Huh? Uh, so, how was yeah. the chemistry generally? It was. Look, it, it was. I think you were relieved that I knew what key you were. You know the. the the, we were going to be playing it. It was an E, and you was, uh, yeah. Yeah. and I thought maybe, I think you said yeah, maybe this guy does know something about the song. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think you, he, I think the, Emmanuel was kind of relieved. I think it was. <laughs> had you uh, earlier probably uh, rehearsed the song, or have you ever had the song before? Yeah, no, I'd heard, I'd heard the song before. Ah, so yeah, it's, no. a, it's a fantastic song. It's a really <laughs> lovely, <laughs> lovely song. Wow. Okay. It was fantastic. Now, Emmanuel, once again, you said earlier, like, uh, like you know, uh, music was a talent from God to you, and and it can be used for different. Uh, it can be used to make a difference in, in the society. 
Can you maybe elaborate to us how can that really happen? You know, like, in, let's say, talk about generally South Sudan here. Well, uh, I believe that music is a talent from that. And uh, it should be used uh, constructively because it can be a tool, vehicle, and voice for fostering change and development in terms of culture, economics, political, and uh, social progress. Our nation building demands all of our people in their various roles to contribute positively. I've granted the talent of music, so my only means of contributing uh, to the nation building is with music and also to inspire other musicians. Mm. Nice. <laughs> that is that. So, I also, uh, as you actually mentioned, you guys met in Yay. Yeah. Uh, when uh, Unumis was opening, he is based in Yay. Yes. And yes. that was like the, yeah. uh, that was uh, back in January, yeah? And then, uh, actually, that's the first time you, uh, you saw Emmanuel Kembe perform. So what was your impression about Emmanuel Kembe generally, honestly? You know, when you just... Honestly? No, no, honestly. No, 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 don't be too honest. Don't be too honest. You know, don't be too honest. No, I, I remember sitting there and then this... I tell you, the, the, and the manual came out and um, we were sitting there and all the official guests were in the front, were yeah. in the front row. Yeah. And, uh, and everybody started getting up and dancing. And I looked down the row and I could see these uh, senior policemen mm. and their foot was tapping and I, you know, they, and I could see that they're not going to stay. And the next minute they were up and dancing and, uh -huh. and everybody got up and danced. It was amazing. You know, the worst thing about it though, I was telling uh, Emmanuel this the other day, yeah. the worst thing about it is that the next thing on the program was me giving a speech. Mm -hmm. So everybody was excited about yeah. Emmanuel and then I had to give a boring speech. <laughs> 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 No, I don't think, yeah. you know, normally it was, it was the worst. I spoke to my people afterwards. Says, Never put me on behind Emmanuel Kembe. This is not, a, this is not an encore, believe yeah, let me. me. Maybe you could say, put me before Emmanuel Kembe. Yeah, After Emmanuel Kembe, we all go home. Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. No, you know, and um, David, you know, like you are, a, you are, you have a career of politics. You know, I was going to be a politician. So, and uh, and I'm, and I'm just, you also enjoy playing music. In your own opinion. How can music be used for a durable peace, or generally? Well, I, I think Manuel just, just, just said it all, actually. I, I mean, music is a, a way of bringing people together. Yep. Um, there are songs that everybody will sing around the world in every country that unites them. I mean, we just heard some of your songs outside. I mean, and everybody was singing, you know, and they're, they're the songs that everybody identifies with South Sudan, so they become songs of nationalism and hope and bringing people together and uh, breaking down barriers. Uh, but you can use them for songs for, for, for the wrong purposes as well. So for exactly what you were saying, I think bringing people together, bringing hope and joy and everybody getting together, um, I think that's an extraordinary thing. And it's been used right through the ages. Even you look at, you know, Bob Dylan or, you know, or people like that. You know, this is, this is South Sudan's Bob Dylan. <laughs> 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 honestly, yeah. Honestly, no, 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 you, he's talking you, so you, you, listen, you, you listen to some of the words. <laughs> I, mean, and I, just, I mean, I'm just listening to your story. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, the story that, you know, you saw that music was a way of being able to contribute and you were in a camp, in a refugee camp and uh, imprisoned. Uh, and yet you continued on with that music and, you know, made a big difference. And so, you know, I'll take my hat off to you. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't wear a hat, but I mean, uh, <laughs> so congratulations, my Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, let, let us talk about your latest song, uh, uh, Kembe, uh, about standing for someone's right today. You guys perform today. And uh, how did you come up with the song? Tell us something more about it. And how do you want to communicate? Like, you want to communicate through this song. What do you want to communicate, actually, through this song? Well, uh, stand up for someone's rights today. Uh, I wrote the lyric in Juba Arabic. As, uh, it was requested by uh, Mr. Eugene Ndorera, mm -hmm. uh, director of uh, Human Rights Division and a representative of the High Commission for Human Rights. Um, through this song, uh, I want to communicate a message of uh, how to protect and promote the rights of our people. Because it can help us cultivate the spirit of uh, nationhood yep. and very tri tribalism, mm -hmm. racism, discrimination, mm -hmm. uh, which are the enemies of our rights and nation. 
I think, I mean, David, I think this is also very, very actually important mm. to you because, you know, uh, uh, I believe this, this match is also important to you as the United Nations is cel celebrating its seventh uh, anniversary. Universal advisor, so of declaration of the human right. How, yes, yeah. yeah, maybe you can tell us something about it. How is it important to you guys also? Well, this is one of the most fundamental things that the United Nations was based on, was based on the fundamental uh, right of people to have human rights. And the way you can tell people about them and you can talk about them and people will listen to a little bit. But if you put those, the same words into a song, so people are, they, they take it in in a different way. They take it in in a, not a, a lecturing way, but a, a way where the, everybody can learn the words, sing it along, and before you know it, they start to think those same things. So I, I just think this is a, a, you know, music is such a wonderful vehicle for yeah. being able to get message acro messages across and positive messages. And, and as you say, and, and nation building as well, you know, songs around nationhood is... I mean, when I saw you performing um, here in Juba, I mean, everybody was up. Everybody knew the songs, and they were. Everybody was singing the. Everybody was singing the words, and they were all about, uh, you know, the standing up and uh, rights and freedom, and they were. They spoke to people in their hearts, you know. And I think, you know, you, you've done a f fantastic job for South Sudan. So thank you so much. Yeah. Actually, as we, are <laughs> <laughs> as we are actually almost coming to the end of the show, so I would like to get the last message from you, the final word, because we're actually coming to the end of the show. So any last final word? Oh, look, f just to say thank you, uh, Manuel, for, for coming along and doing this and for uh, allowing me to sit on one of your songs as well, because that was a real, that was a thrill. Um, and, and just keep up the good work, because you're doing great work. Um, and you're, you're such a, a leader and an inspiration for people, and people look to you. Um, as a as a as a way forward, so don't uh, don't stop, keep it going. <laughs> Thank you so much, Very good. Any last any, any final word? Oh uh, well, um, I want to thank uh, Honourable Mr. and SSBC for giving me this opportunity, and uh, also I want to congratulate all the Genovin for the signing of the peace agreement, and uh, say it is time uh, to put our energies and resources into building a great nation in this blessed land of South Sudan. Thank you so much. You're a legend, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, okay. so much uh, Emmanuel. You guys yeah, have yeah. a... Yeah, yeah, let's be in touch and I wish you all the best. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh,